And this gets at it too, identity. This is a real, so, the more time I spend in this line of work, the, the more, in, and I, I've heard other colleagues say similar thing, the more interested I am in this, this notion, this thing, identity. Um, there's so much pain that's experienced at the level of finding oneself, claiming oneself, taking some care to line up the outer with the inner and to have some semblance the way i see myself is somewhat shared by the way other people see me this is it's some it's a real tricky dance that we do to stake our claim as who we are in the world and who we are in the world is all of us of course is malleable and shifts over time it's a very slippery but potent force and disability has a lot to brings its own sort of challenges. I may have all sorts of sense of myself in the world, but when people take a look at this body, they they cannot help but project and cannot help but oftentimes either limit me unnecessarily, project fear onto me unnecessarily, or, or go the other way. Um, sort of, you might my sense of identity might move between this this monster character that people are afraid of all the way over to this um, kind of special being, special being this big word, uh, who has, in, you know, who has seen things and has some mysterious powers. And, you know, so you, in other words, you get either fetishized as this uh, some something heroic-ish or as this sort of monstrous thing, which is quite a trip. Um, so just navigating being in the world and trying to be myself, whatever the heck that is, can feel ooh, pretty tricky. And again, uh, everything I'm saying here could be said about just about any human being. It makes the point that this distinction of disability versus able-bodied is made up. Um, but it's a matter of proportion and sort of the intensity with which these issues come up in this particular community.